Hey there, John. Kimberly here with Elite Roots Digital Marketing Agency. I reached out and spoke with Cindy earlier today, promising this short video, giving you a few tips to help you increase your online traffic. Now, and I don't want to waste anyone's time, so at the end of this video, if you like what you've heard and would like any further help getting more leads for your business, then give me a call. If not, no harm, no foul. Take these tips and use them for yourself. There's three main points I want to want to talk about today in this short video. First is your website, second is going to be your Google Maps profile, and third is going to be a little bit more of the technical side, the back side of things. So first off with your website here, I love that you do have a nice big phone number up at the top of your page. I do wish it was a click to call where I could click on this and it would actually go ahead and call you, especially if I was either connected to a phone on the computer here or viewing your website on a mobile device. And as I kind of scroll through your website, I mean, it it's a very clean site, but it's lacking in content. Oh, I love that you do have your social media icon down here too. Great way to continue getting more clients to more pages. Now, and when it comes to content, I'm talking about the words on your page as well as the pictures. Even how these pictures are saved on your computer before they're loaded onto your website can be read by a Google search engine. Now, and why does content matter so much? Well, Google loves content. Content is king in Google's eyes. They actually like to see 1,500 to 2,000 words on the main page of a website, and they actually have uh, some algorithms when it comes to ranking you in a search that it matters how much, how much content you have. The more content you have, the easier it is going to be to get to the top of the page here. We really like to see 15,000 to 2,000. Or 15, wow, not 15,000, 1,500 to 2,000 uh, words on the main page of a website. And really, I know it sounds like it could be wordy, but it's not. When you actually see it, it's really not that bad. It actually can turn into a beautiful, beautiful site. It's done correctly. All right, so that's the main thing I wanted to point out on your website is just get some more quality, unique, keyword-rich content. And when I talk about keywords, I do want to point this out to you over here. This is just a whole list of different keywords in your area. Um, Fence Companies Kansas City is the one I'm using for the Google search that we're about to go to because it's got a volume of 700 searches per month. Now, in like Fencing Kansas City is 250 searches. Fencing Companies Kansas City is 250. So fencing versus fence. See the difference there? Sometimes I have to second take. <laughs> All right, so the next area I'd like to talk to you about is going to be a within a Google search here. The first section here is a is the Google Map Pack. Now, and this is where your Google My Business pages are going to be listed. See here we've got the top three. Now, it's so important to get into the top three because with a search like this, people don't like scrolling through. They want to get their answer and go. So a lot of them will stop just at this area, click on something, and then go. And they don't scroll any further. So getting to the top three here, or even the top one, is so important. 40% of the traffic that comes through for this keyword goes to these three companies. Another 30%, because there are people that will scroll past the maps and they want to get to the organic section here. Another 30% goes to the very top spot here. Unless it's a directory like this, and then sometimes it'll go a little bit higher to the number two spot. Um, just because people realize that Angie is not really what they're looking for. They're looking for an actual business. The reason these companies end up being at the top here is because of content. Like I touched on over here, they have a ton of content on their site. Google actually does prefer the smaller companies, but a lot of the smaller companies just don't have that 15,000 to 2... I said it again, 1,500. <laughs> 1,500 to 2,000 words on their main page, so you end up with a directory up here. Now, and when it comes to ranking first in the map pack, there's a few things that go into it. I love that you do have some, you have some reviews coming on here. Um, you've got 13 so far with a 3.9 average, so not too bad. Definitely keep, uh, keep uh, going for those five-star reviews. Try and get as many as possible. 
that'll help uh, boost you in that area a good little bit. The other, con the other uh, suggestion I have for you is save those images, all of the photos that you have, save those as keywords before they're loaded onto your Google profile as well. There is one other thing that really goes into getting to the top of this section here, and that is citations. Now, and citations are just listings of your business in different directories across the web. Directories like Angie, Home Advisor, uh, House, those are all great directories. They're the more popular ones, of course. Um, there's hundreds of directories out there, though, and the more you can get in, the faster you'll move up to the top of this pack, especially if you do work on those reviews. Um, you got to try and get up into at least the 35 range, probably, and you're probably all right at that 3.9 if you get more, at least more reviews. Um, definitely, of course, try for five star. I know you are. <laughs> Alright, so the last thing that I want to talk to you about is going to be this bottom section here. This is the organic section of Google, and I touched on 30% of it goes to the top spot and all of that. But why is it important to get up to the top, and how do you do it? Well, of course, content and keywords, like we talked about on your website, matter. But so does the backside of your website. The backside of your website is where the strength of your website is. And that's re in regards to backlinks and referring domains. Now, you currently are sitting at 44 referring domains and 508 backlinks, and you have 67 keywords on your website. Now, and what are backlinks? Backlinks are just links from one website back to yours. Some are weaker than others. Um, those citations that we talked about for your Google business page, those are oftentimes going to give you a backlink, but it's not going to be a super strong one. A strong backlink is going to be a link from a website that has some sort of relation to fencing in some way, shape, or form, and then has a much stronger website than yours. Those citations have strong websites, but they're not, re not directly related to fences or anything of that nature. They host businesses of all sorts. So you want a specific business that does something to do with fencing or I saw you do uh, iron work um, any of that any of the services that you provide make sure it's related to some of that and stronger than yours and that's going to be a nice strong backlink for you. If we take a peek at your competition here um, they have 221 referring domains giving them 1310 backlinks and they are currently having uh, 276 keywords on their website and this is Guire Fence. So all of that is bringing in 838 clicks to their website per month. Currently you're at 11. What would you do? How many leads would it actually bring into your company if you were getting another 800 and however many clicks to your website per month? How many clients would that turn into? How much more revenue for your business would that bring? All right, that is all I have for you today in this short video. I did want to keep it as short as I could. Now, and if you'd like to know more on how I can help grow your business and bring you new customers, please reach out and we can chat. But if not, no big deal. Enjoy these free tips I've given you. If you don't mind giving me some feedback on how I did on this video, it would really be greatly appreciated. I hope you found it helpful, and thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon.